Assalamu alaikum ninjas and welcome back, welcome back. Here we have another updated video about the best game pads worth buying, uh, my list. Uh, and uh, watch this video till the end because I will be showing you separately some gameplays uh, of each game pad. Just short game uh, gameplays, one minute each or something like this. So watch this video till the end. How to support my channel? Simply just buy any of these game pads, any of these products with my links in the description. I will leave you my five, six, seven different suggestions which game pads to buy. Uh, obviously, most of them will be Ipega. Why Ipega? Somebody will tell me why Ipega. Guys, uh, Ipega is a very well uh, established company and they offer really good, decent game pads for a cheap, cheap price. They're not $100. They are, most of their game pads are under 40 bucks, guys. A lot of game pads are around $25 to $30. They have a lot of different models with $25, $30. These two models are under 30 bucks. Where very well balanced uh, game pads, which I support easily without any problems. You're not going to make mistakes. Here we have also uh, P. A 9220. This is an uh, upgraded version of the 1999. And here we have a new model, I would call like that. For me, especially, a new model is from the 4000 series Ipega P, uh, PG P4010. Uh, it has a, a mouse trackpad, guys. It has mouse trackpad with the two functionality, two fingers functionality, which is scrolling. In insane. I never saw a gamepad with this function, guys. And you know how much is it? $43, bro. $43. Bucks. It has 3.5 mm headphone jack, six axes, four extra customizable buttons, S1 to S4, which is, again, very rare. Very rare what I'm seeing right now here. Of course, it does have a LED bar here. LEDs. Colorful, colorful LED, LEDs. And this is a like P4, why it's called P4? Because it's a PlayStation layout. Awesome. Uh, Ipega PG 9099. This is my, uh, my, my friend, my handy friend. For three years I used it, it I bombarded it, and it's still alive. It's crazy. I would never say that this is a cheap gamepad, guys. Usually it's cheap gamepads, like they die after six months or something like this. This one, with me more than three years, 1922, uh, 90, uh, uh, upgraded version of this one. Highly recommend it. Uh, beautiful design, rounded with the extra buttons like you see by itself. Dual uh, shock, type C USB cable. You can see type, -C, type C USB port. Uh, it's for PS3, iOS, Android, and PC. And game set X2 for the end. If you don't want to support the game set company because of that drama regarding the Switch emulator, you don't have to, guys. It's just your obviously uh, your own way. It's just fine. But the gamepad itself is absolutely a rocker. One of the best uh, gamepads ever produced. Especially this new addition, which they fi uh, fixed some issues with the previous models. This one is wired connectivity, which has almost zero latency, and that's why many people will buy it. Uh, obviously, it's always nice to have a Bluetooth connectivity, but unfortunately, this one doesn't have this function. It's only connected with the Type C port, and that's it. Anyway, the buying links in the description. Thank you and enjoy in the rest of this video let's go you probably can see that guys enemy contact Uh, it's good that I use these two different modes, which is very interesting. I'm not technically uh, technical to know exactly uh, what is the difference between these two modes. I need to. I should educate myself more about it. So if somebody can obviously uh, give us a short explanation, uh, the differences between these two uh, different modes. By the way, this is not specific just with this emulator, uh, with this gamepad. Uh, I think most of the uh, Ipega gamepads have these modes. The Bluetooth. There you go, you can see what's up, works just fine. Perfect. Realizing 3 indeed, just after so many years, uh, the graphics are really good. Also, remember that you can download yourself a full assi assisted, so basically download resources, like with the World of, uh, War Ta World of Tanks. Yeah, yeah, World of Tanks. Wow, beautiful. Anyway, let's go next. Beautiful experience here with this gamepad. There you go. Uh, we have also Dead Trigger 2. Nice.
beautiful experience. By the way, this game you can play it unlimited FPS ninjas up to what 144 FPS or 160 FPS depends of uh, Red Magic. Which smartphone has 166 uh, hard screen? Anyway, a beautiful performance here. Let's go now quickly for the end. We're gonna test uh, the emulator. Well, let's just test emulator with this gamepad. There we go, check it out, uh, the, this game series gamepad uh, fully supported here with the Damon PS2 Pro emulator, you can see by yourself uh, guys uh, that it works just flawlessly here, beautiful, let's try to kick some actually some a little bit, let's go, come on, oh, 